Lucas Media, shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So, Bronny James had another game yesterday at the Combine, the NBA Draft Combine in Chicago. LeBron and Savannah was also there to watch their son. Shout out to them, you know, going to go show some support. And Bronny in this second game, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Bronny in the second game, he actually, he had better numbers. He went 4 for 10 for the floor at 23 minutes, and he had 13 rebounds, you know, showed him on defense and uh, pulling up shots, playing off the ball. And he also said in a, in a post-game interview that his uh, teammates was pushing him to be more aggressive, and he felt more comfortable with the ball out of his hand um, instead of uh, just being predominantly the point guard. But he did say that he could see himself doing both in the league uh, maybe even a combination, right? Maybe play what uh, the two guard, but then be, but then d up the point guards or whatever on defense. Uh, uh, shout out to Bronny again. I can see he's building his name up. We don't know if he's gonna be drafted. Um, I did see where Stephen A. Smith and Kendrick Perkins talked about him yesterday, and uh, Kendrick Perkins. I mean, both everybody's now starting to say they feel sorry for Bronny. Um, I think Bronny was in, in, in a way groomed for the moment. I'm sure they, they've been telling him since he's been little, look, this is what you're going to have to expect. So I don't think it phases him like we think it does. I do think that he wants to go in there and, and, and earn his shot. Um, and I do think he's going to get a chance. Now, shout out to some of my subscribers. Uh, one did mention that, uh, Ben Gordon was a shooting guard at, uh, six foot two, but, he was a phenomenal athlete, you know. But Bronny, Bronny got athletic ability. And um, one of my other subscribers had mentioned that Bronny doesn't have... Um, there's other kids that deserve it over him. And it, and again, it comes back down to this. It's just like in corporate America. Sure, there are, but that's where nepotism and other connections come in. And that's just how the world honestly works. You know, historically, look at your kings, the different uh, uh, kings of different dynasties. All Most of them are inherited you know unless somebody took over uh, did a coup or whatever but that's how it is they pass it down and you gotta think the nba is a big family and they looking at it like Bronny, even though he may not necessarily have the same amount of talent per se right now you know he may not be the number one overall pick he has number one overall pick markability and that's what the nba sees and i think that you know, we as fans, we have to understand that at the end of the day, this is entertainment. It's all about selling tickets. It's all about selling merchandise. Look, they could take me or y'all. They could take me or y'all right now. And if we were selling out arenas, being on the basketball court, selling out merchandise, they would have us sitting at the bench of an NBA team. We may never even touch the floor, but they going to make sure because if they, especially if they know again, we're going to sell out no matter where we go. It's all about making money, y'all. That's the bottom line. You know, these businesses are to make money. So, you know, somebody, and again, and you got to think, they looking at it like, man, we'll just throw them in the G League. You know, we could throw them in the G League and make two, three million dollars for the league and get more eyes on the G League to where, you know, now the G League is more enticing. I'm just, I'm just telling y'all, you know, yeah, life ain't fair. It's never, it's never going to be fair. It never has. It never going to be. And when we start thinking past that, like, okay, yeah, he may go there and flop. But look at Lamelo Ball. Look at the Nassas uh, on the Cooper or whatever. Look at um, what's Carson Palmer brother name? Jake Palmer, when he was playing for the Cincinnati Bengals with Carlson. Carson. You don't think that they was throwing him a solid? It's all about keeping superstars happy, which LeBron is a superstar. And then it's also about selling tickets. And Bronny can put, he can move the needle. And trust me, you know, the owners, they realize that. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. You know, shout, again, shout out to Bronny for his second day at the Pro Combine. Um, tell me what y'all think.